Dr. Christopher Haruna, a medical student currently schooling at the University of Jos. I am a public health advocate with over three years of experience in various forms of public health advocacy, including public health interventions, activity coordination, um, advocacy at various levels, and external affairs. Recently, I was privileged to represent Nigerian medical students at the 71st General Assembly of the International Federation of Medical Student Associations, IFMSC. It's held in Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm here to share with you my experience on that trip. The General Assemblies of IFMSC typically consist of a pre-General Assembly and a post-General Assembly. Personally, I wish to attend the pre-general assembly. However, due to some visa issues I faced, I was not able to, to come on time for the pre-general assembly. However, I arrived a day earlier for the general assembly proper. When I first landed in Istanbul, um, it was my first trip out, out of Nigeria, actually, so it was heartwarming and I looked forward to a very wonderful adventure. I made my way to my hotel, which I had booked prior to my arrival in Istanbul. And after taking a little rest, I decided to step out into the city to visit some of the um, popular landmarks I had grown up reading about. The first area I visited was the Sultanahmet, um, a very popular area and located in the ancient city of Istanbul. I made my way there, bracing through all the language barriers. Thank you, Google Translate. You really helped me out in that regard. I use Google Translate and it really eased my communication with the people. And they were also very nice and friendly, I must say that. Thank you very much, Tux. Um, I used the, the various modes of transportation available in the city, from the trams, from the metro buses to the trams, among others. Um, on visiting Sultan Ahmed, I went to the Blue Mosque. The Blue Mosque was a very wondrous wonder to behold. I felt like melting on the spot and I made my way in there, followed all due protocol. From the Blue Mosque, I went to the Hagia Sophia. Now the Hagia Sophia is um, a building I had read so much about and I had always looked forward to an opportunity to visit. It was a very wonderful thing to behold and I am very happy that I actually got to see it. Before I continue, I would like you to subscribe to this channel and also um, click on the post notifications bell so you could be the first to receive any updates from this channel. I trust you would find much interesting and exciting content as the days go by. So back to my story. Um, after, at the Hagia Sophia, I enjoyed some time roaming around the ancient city and viewing some of the ancient um, spots and wonderful landmarks there. I took some Turkish ice cream, very interesting, very tasty, and I found my way back home. The next day, I made my way to the hotel where the conference was holding, to Yap Palace Hotel. That was the location for the General Assembly. Now, typically, IFMC General Assemblies consist of a lot of sessions where medical students generally gain capacity building, gain share their experiences, build networks, and just overall learning for to improve the quality of the work they do back home. The General Assemblies are also places where also provide opportunities for elections of new um, executive board members and team of officials for the Federation. So when I attended, I was attending as a public health delegate, so I was attending the standing committee on public health sessions because that is my passion. And at the sessions, I was able to learn a lot of issues, learn on a lot of issues ranging from one health, antimicrobial resistance, um, neglected tropical diseases, um, patient um, health literacy, patient health education, among others. At the plenaries, I was also exposed to the various decision-making processes of the Federation yeah, and a lot of crucial decisions were taken concerning the future of our Federation. Um, also, please to mention that policy documents as part of the whole IFMC process were also deliberated upon. I was a part of the team 
that updated the policy document on primary health care and the policy document was adopted at that meeting. At the GEA, I was privileged to be exposed to a large number of online medical learning um, sites and applications like Ambos, um, Lecturio. They also give us discounts on the subscription of which I was very happy to make use of it. Um, it was also very much fun. I was able, um, we had various social activities to keep us occupied. We had the um, face, the mask painting activities. We had just overall partying, karaoke nights, cultural nights, and the national food and drink party. That was one of the best highlights of that. Um, okay, well, not the best, the best one was one of the best social activities there because i was able to taste a variety of food a very wide variety of food from across the con from across the world it was just so nice i was tasting different snacks and um, drinks and it was overall very fun um i was also privileged to learn on a various number on a large number of global health issues particularly the team event was about the impact of conflict on health and I was able to understand how um, migration, among other various issues that are caused by conflict, affects the general health of the population. I was also able to learn about interdisciplinary collaboration, that is one health in tackling global health issues. That is a very, very important topic that we'll be looking into. And also antimicrobial resistance. Uh, I was also privileged to learn about um, patient health promotion where I also shared my experiences on health education and health literacy campaigns that I've been organizing in my local community. I I have also I was also privileged to learn about some various democratic um, activities, democratic institutions that we uphold very highly in the IFMSA, and these um, experiences have played a long way in helping me and inspiring me to increase the quality of my impact in Nimsa, Nigeria, and in my local community. As part of my exposure in the IFMC, I was able to learn how to hands-on on how to um, work in multicultural and very diverse settings with people from different backgrounds. And these skills that I learned, these teamwork skills, I've been able to put them into practice by in every team that I'm working on currently. And even in the future, these teamwork skills have come in very handy. The ideas I that we exchanged over there where I have also been very instrumental in helping me to streamline my activities to further promote the Think Globally and Act Locally mantra of the IFMSA. Also, um, the trainings I received on One Health and multidisciplinary approach to various global health issues um, have really come in handy because I've been able to also um, equip other medical students and other allied healthcare students to be able to um, promote multidisciplinary approaches and collaborations to approach various diseases. Um, particularly last year, late last year after the General Assembly, we were able to lead collaborations with the Africa Public Health Students Network, which actually is a very good organization by the way. And the, we were able to work on a project on antimicrobial resistance in some select campuses in Nigeria. Also, the medical education platforms I have been exposed to have been very instrumental in um, helping my own studies and I've also been able to enlighten other medical students about these um, opportunities. I would also note at this point that um, we also had activities fairs where various medical students from across the world came forward to present the activities that they had coordinated in their local communities and in their countries and I was able to gain a lot of experience and exposure from the quality of their activities and also provide my own input to those activities and they, and basically those ideas have provided much inspiration for me to be able to um, coordinate much more quality events moving forward. I would encourage every medical student to get involved in the IFMSA. And how to get involved in the IFMSA is actually not complicated. 
basically you start from where you are your local community i was the local public health officer of my school in 2021 and since then i've progressed on to various positions um so please start from where you are do not um underestimate the quality of the work just that you do in your local community just put in your all put give it your best and you would make progress to get even into the ifmsa um i would also encourage you to um and to open your mind keep an open mind medical school is not just about the classroom there are various opportunities out there for medical students to get involved in um, a lot of activities and opportunities to contribute to um, various global health conversations at the high level stages so please try as much, much as possible get involved put yourself to the training push your boundaries and you don't know where it is going to take you the skills i also gained in the ifmc general assembly um, have also equipped me to be able to contribute more to the implementation of universal health coverage the advocacy for the implementation of the universal health coverage in not just my local community but in my state and nigeria as well um, i'm also going to mention at this point that i am currently working in external affairs and I look forward to in looking for ways to improve and increase members of um, Nigeria, Nigerian students' involvement in external affairs and also to basically generally ensure that they are well exposed and have more knowledge on the opportunities that the IFMSA offers. Again, kindly subscribe if you haven't and ensure you turn on the notification settings so you can be able to get more uh, and more content from this channel thank you very much for listening see you next time